All right, guys. Um, my uh, my camera's kind of bugging out, but whatever. Um, today I am going to show you how to um, customize your XMB background, the classic background for your PlayStation Portable. Um, simply, it's this background right here, um, the little wave in the background. I'm going to show you how to change that. Uh, simply all we're going to do is we're going to access the flash zero and plug install like drag and drop in manually the RCO file which will change the background so uh, without uh, further notice uh, let's get to it. Alright so first things first uh, we always want to make sure that we are running on custom firmware here so if we scroll down system information and check out the firmware you clearly see I'm running a 5.50 Gen D3, and this is the fixed version. Uh, for all you guys that have D3, make sure you have the fixed version, or else this might not work, and you might possibly brick your PSP. So be sure to have the fixed version. If you're not sure, I have the correct version for download. Just search uh, 5.50 Gen D3 fix on my channel, and you will find it. So simply, all we're going to just do is um, actually wait. No, don't connect the USB yet. Hold on. Uh, hit select on your VSH menu and uh, it might vary you might have the ultimate VSH menu you might have the regular one but all in all you will still have this option and you're gonna scroll down to where it says USB device and switch that till you see it say flash zero hit select to exit the menu and now connect the USB to the PSP and connect the USB cable Do, 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 do. Oh, I gotta switch it out in the back. Hold on one second. All right, there we go. Sorry about that. I forgot. I've been doing iPod work and uh, had my iPod cable plugged in. But anyways, we're in USB mode now, so come to the computer. All right, so at the computer, we're just gonna go to uh, the My Computer icon, and we're gonna open up the removable disk G. And you should see these folders right here. You should see uh, the KD configuration, DIC, VSH font, data, and code page. Well, we're going to double click and open up the VSH folder here. So open that up. And you're going to open up the resource folder like that. So just open the resource folder up and you should see inside here a whole bunch of RCO files. Now, these are all RCO files, yada, yada, yada. And um, this is what you want to look at. So simply, I will have a link to this file that I'm going to show you. Um, you're going to be downloading this 176 XMB waves for 5.00. Now it doesn't have to be on 5.00 custom firmware, you just need to be on that or higher in order for this to work correctly. So double click on that and you're going to open that up after downloading it and uh, saving it to wherever you save it to, whatever your preference is. And after opening this up, you are going to see... The, um, if you don't have an extraction program, you're going to have to right click on the download file that I gave you and uh, say extract all to somewhere. But um, anyways, uh, if you have an extraction program, that's great. Um, and once you extract or open it up with the extraction program, you will see the 176 XMB waves for 5.00 folder inside the extracted files. So if you double click on that, you're going to see a readme text and the 176 XMB waves folder. Open up the 176 XMB waves folder and you will see a whole bunch of folders like so. Scroll down to one you want and uh, if you open it up, um, open up the folder and you can see the uh, screenshots or whatever. Um, I'm not going to open one, but that's how you preview them. Uh, you can also look at thumbnails if you do extract the files. So um, I'm just going to scroll down here and I guess I'm going to go with the um, the Red Storm. I'll use for an example. So I open up the Red Storm and uh, you will see the system underscore plugin underscore bg dot rco. Now you're going to go to your PSP's system uh, flash zero, which is classified as the G colon forward slash VSH slash resource folder, and come to your extraction folder, 
And all you're going to do is take that RCO file out of the extracted file and drag and drop that into the resource folder on the PSP memory stick. Now you're going to have a screen like this come up. Would you like to replace the existing file with the other one? Um, so you're going to select OK. So hit yes. And you're done. So now exit the PSP and we can exit the um, extraction program or whatever and come back to the PlayStation Portable. All right, so back at the PSP here, we are gonna just exit USB mode. And as you can see, the background hasn't changed yet. Well, hit select and you're gonna select reboot device on your VSH menu, or you can just simply hold the power button up until the power turns off and then turn it back on, no biggie, but I find this way easier. So go to the VSH menu, select US uh, reboot device, and boom, 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 boom and you should see your custom RCO and there you go now it's fairly different as you can see so that's the XMB background and also make sure to change your USB device back to the memory stick in the VSH menu also when you're done so other than that that's about it and that's how you do it so again I will have that link for download for you guys with 176 different ones that you can preview and look through to see which one you like and uh, yeah that's about it. So yeah, that's how you install your custom RCO uh, system plugin background files for the classic version of your PSP's background. Um, again, I will have the link for you guys to this file with 176 different ones in it. And um, also a few things you want to look out for. Um, if you have other RCO plugin files, such as um, modifying your icons or your music player so forth like that your way you view your pictures things like that um you do not want to put one of these that has um over 500 kb for data or else your psp will just freeze and you will have to go into recovery menu to repair that and that's a whole bunch of icky stuff and we don't want to deal with that so um yeah so i'm just trying to make your life a little bit easier with uh warning you about that but uh, other than that Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy your new backgrounds for your uh, classic version of the PSP, um, your wave backgrounds, as you would call them. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So uh, take it easy, guys. Subscribe to my channel if you want to keep up to date. Um, if you have any questions, leave me a comment, send me a message. You know the drill. Um, and uh, if you have any recommendations for any other videos, just leave a comment on my channel page, and I will get back to you on that as soon as I can. So yeah, take it easy, guys. And I will talk to you later. Peace.